Coach, if I didn't know anything about the Winford Royals, how would you ex explain the whole experience to someone? Well, I think being a Winford football player means a lot in terms of we have high expectations here. I think when you walk in our program and, and you put on the blue and gray that uh, we expect you to compete at a high level. And uh, fortunately for us, we've had a group of kids this year that really have stepped up and uh, have built on the tradition that we have here. Speaking of tradition, you've taken it a step further this year, first time being into the state playoffs in the semifinals. What is it you think being the recipe for that, the extra success this year? Well, I think uh, number one thing is it's been a process, and I think we've grown as a, a football program over the number of years. You know, we started in 2005 of uh, making a run. This is the seventh straight year that we've made the playoffs, and I think each and every year we've taken ex that experience and uh, built on it for this year. How do you think your your heart and your fans' heart is after that first quarter last week? <laughs> well, you know, that's been a question a lot of people asked, and, and the thing that impressed me most is that as a as a group we didn't panic, and uh, you know I think even though we were down twenty seven nothing, obviously we were shell shocked a little bit, but uh, you know we knew we had a lot of time left in the game, and that we needed we needed to chip away, and uh, you know as as impressive as our first quarter was, I thought we came back and even had more of an impressive second quarter. So you know obviously from going from twenty seven down to being down thirty. 532 at half that gave us confidence going in the second half what was being said on the sideline what were the players reactions coaches reactions everything when everything was going against you in that first quarter uh, and, and it really did everything did go against us you know we had some turnovers and obviously they were able to capitalize quickly and uh, you know like I said I think we just needed to settle down and once we settled down of the game was, or the speed of the game and uh, you know just kind of caught our wind that uh, you know we started to make plays you almost feel like it's a team of destiny the missed extra point in the end winning in overtime the big comeback uh, you know, I don't know for a team of destiny. I think these kids worked extremely hard, and I think they believe in themselves. And, you know, I think it goes back to the previous experiences that we've had that uh, you know, our kids understand we can compete at a high level. And, uh, you know, fortunately for us, we made enough plays last week. How nice is it having somebody like Zach calling the signals? Uh, you know, obviously Zach's done a great job, you know, to replace a kid that ended up at the University of Kentucky two years ago and what he's been able to achieve. Obviously, he's worked extremely hard and, uh, you know, there's, you know, you have high expectations of being a quarterback in our system and, uh, you know, check, Zach gives us the opportunity to be a dual threat team in terms of back air, being able to not only hurt you with his legs, but also his arm. Who are some of the other boys that have stood out to you, especially in the playoff run? Well, you know, I think you've got to look at our seniors and, uh, you know, our, our uh, John Miller and uh, Jared Butler, uh, offensive from an offensive line and uh, also a defensive end position. They've done exceptionally well for us. And uh, uh, Luke Miller, uh, fullback linebacker for us. And, and uh, you know, uh, um, uh, Seth Raw obviously has stepped, has stepped up and made big plays for us both on the offense and defensive side. State semifinal opponent, Kirtland, how do you think you match up? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the first thing that stands out to me is uh, they're extremely well coached, and uh, uh, you know, I think it starts there. And, and you got to give a lot of credit to their coaching staff. Uh, uh, the, from a defensive standpoint, uh, they're good as advertised. I know their coach has called them the best defense he's ever coached, and you know, their front people are big and strong and physical. Uh, and then, obviously, the back end of it is uh, very athletic, and uh, you know, their linebackers, you know. Uh, uh, especially the middle linebacker. Obviously, the kid going to the Air Force is, uh, you know, a, a beast in the middle. So, uh, you know, we're going to be our hands full from an offensive standpoint. Uh, uh, from an, their offensive side of the ball, obviously, you know, they want to run the ball first, and uh, we're going to have to do a good job on first and second down of uh, trying to contain them, obviously, with their inside and outside run game. And uh, we're going to have to do a good job of tackling the guys to the ball. How do you stop a team that's so successful running the ball with a power game and a speed game on the outside? Well, obviously it makes it extremely difficult. Nobody's really figured it out yet this year. And, uh, you know, so we're going to have to do a good job of that. And uh, we're going to have to be gap control in terms of uh, maintaining our gaps and doing a good job up front. And, uh, uh, you know, but th they just present so many problems for you because not only can they run the ball inside, they can run the ball outside, but also play action pass you. So, uh, you know, we've got a big challenge defensively this week. What's going to be a key to victory? I think key to the victory is taking care of the football. You know, we need to make sure we take care of the football. We have not done a good job of that the last two weeks, and uh, we need to do a good job of that and 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 not give them short fields. And uh, uh, from a defensive side, hopefully we'll be able to create some turnovers and give our offense a uh, short field. And I'd say the second key of the game is going to be the line scrimmage. Uh, it's going to be critical on both sides of the ball. Coach, going to put you on the spot. Give me a prediction for the game. Huh? Give me a prediction for the game. I hope we blow them out by one. <laughs>